Well, today marks two years since the first COVID-19 vaccination shot was injected into an arm. And since then, nearly 600 million doses have been distributed. And according to a new study, the vaccine made a difference. The Commonwealth Fund and Yale School of Public Health issued a report saying roughly 3.2 million COVID-19 deaths and nearly 19 million hospitalizations were prevented because of the vaccine. The updated bivalent vac vaccine, by the way, is now available to children as young as six months old. Joining us now is Dr. Don Schifrin with the American Academy of Pediatrics. Dr. Don, great to see you again. Now, there are some important distinctions for parents to know about this specific vaccine for babies and toddlers. Can you explain? Well, Christine, you know, it's, it's interesting. Most Americans are kind of going past uh, the COVID pandemic right now. They want to think that it's kind of over and they're not fearful about catching COVID anymore, but we know that that's not true. The highest case rates in our state, as a matter of fact, over the last couple of weeks have been in these zero to three age ranges. And those vaccines have been available. Actually, today is actually six months to the day when they were announced as emergency use authorization. Moderna has two shots available for kids from six months to age four years uh, at one quarter of the adult dose. And again, they have a booster 60 days after that second dose, which is got the bivalent vaccine in it, which is great, again, protection against the subvariants. And the Pfizer is a three-shot series for kids from six months to four years of age. And again, that third shot, if they haven't had it, is now the bivalent booster shot. If they've had the third shot, they don't get the bivalent booster, but again, it is protective. And the Pfizer shot is one-tenth of the adult dose. So again, talk to your pediatricians. These vaccines are available. And Dr. Don, you touched on this just a little bit, but the state health department says as of December 10th, only about 18% of children ages five to 11 have received that updated booster. In fact, lower vaccination rates for all age groups point to what a lot of people are calling vaccine fatigue. It's been two years since someone got the very first shot. Lots of talk about vaccines since. What are your thoughts? Well, again, my thoughts are protection, protection, protection. In the United States, uh, the six month to four year age range is only 10% uh, of vaccinations, and it's one third for five to 11s boosted. Only maybe one in five have been boosted. And again, the best protection is a vaccination which can prevent the rare but tragic causes of severe illness and life threatening illness for kids. So please talk to your pediatricians. These vaccines are available. They're safe and effective, and they're, again, very necessary. COVID is still with us. It's not done yet. Okay, Dr. Don, thank you very much. As always, we will see you in just a few days for our next segment. Thank you.